Okay, this is part A. Part A is what attaches to the square or round tubing of the vehicle. This is part B. Part B, which will attach to part A and will be the part that holds the gun grabber. Okay, part C. Part C are your mounting bolts and saddles. This is part D, the U-bolts that will attach the gun grabber to the bracket. This is part E. Part E will be used to attach to a large round roll bar. These are the tools required to mount the front bracket and gun grabber to your vehicle. Okay, the next step is to assemble the gun grabber to the mounting bracket. You may proceed. As you can see, we're placing the U-bolt into the saddle clamp and onto the back of the gun grabber itself. Now, both are in place. And to secure it, we use these flat washers and locking nuts. Now we do not tighten the gun grab at this point. We do not want to tighten it. We just want to place it onto the bracket itself for the mounting to the vehicle. Put the bracket and the C clamps on the gun grab. You put the part A onto the bracket. Okay, now you tighten the gun grabber just enough that it will stay on the bracket so you can do so you can check. You put part A next to the one inch bar. You take the gun and put it up here and you raise it until the gun grabber is at the proper position on the gun. And the proper position is defined as? Uh, at least two inches above the top of the forestock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so set your gun aside. And you'll take your pin out and you'll mark yeah, you can take this out, you can mark your holes, and then drill. Action. Now we're going to drill the hole that we just marked. Fasten it to the part A being fastened to the square type. Okay, before you screw in the set screw, you want to make sure that the gun grabber is level to the floor of your cart as demonstrated here. The bracket into part A. And utilizing the self-tapping screws after you've gotten the gun grabber positioned where you want it to fit on your vehicle, you will use the self-tapping screws to secure it in place. Okay. And tighten it. Get the gun grabber and the so level. You can lever this way, or it could be this way, but get it level. Level position. And then tighten. And you want to tighten it down to secure it. Okay, and this is the butt stock holder that we mounted to the floor of the vehicle. Okay, okay so we've marked the butt stock holder on a piece of paper. So to... you know where to drill the hose. 
she used as a pattern pattern on the guard. So as you see, if we use the paper to pattern where the buttstock will hold the bottom of the gun. As we've drilled the holes in the floor, now we're aligning the butt pocket. And the screws will go down and in to secure. And then we'll use a nut to finish fastening. Okay, now as you can see, the finished product. And um, you can get in and out of the vehicle, no problem. And your gun is safely pointing upwards.